Oh, on a last second move, has us racing now, and there's contact further back. Looked like Miller was trying to get around some of the chaos. He got kind of tripped up as there was uh, a, a bit of uh, a moment down on the inside. But at least everyone has made it uh, forward through to turn number four, and we are underway after uh, one extra outlap for the K100 seniors. Hayden Jones, Dalton Haynes, one and two. And the last time we saw them in that X30 super heat, they are one and two right now here in the main event to kick things off in KA Senior. And Hayden's gonna take us down to the low side as Paulie Massimino's gonna send it to the high side in turn eight, and he will pick up a spot. He gets around the off pole man, Cameron Weinberg, back to P5. Yeah, we see further back, a couple drivers going side by side, one of them being Kai Hunter with Caleb Gaffera. Hayden Jones, he's under fire from a couple of drivers here. Dalton Haynes, inside and through. He wants to lead it early. He goes a little bit wide here. He's gonna have to maybe concede the position back to Hayden Jones, who has help from Parker Along and Ruthless Racing. So here we go. Hayden Jones through, Parker Along through, Massimino you know, might be able to sneak his way through as well as he hops over the curb in turn number three. He's through, and now Dalton Haynes is on the outside looking in. Here's on the wrong side of the racetrack. He might concede a few more spots, but as he storms around the outside of the bowl corner, what a move for Dalton Haynes to hold on to third. Big thing for your favorite driver, folks, to, uh, watching along with this race as long as it is. Well, yes, you can have some superhero moves to try to get to the lead early like that, uh, but the important part is that they don't end up in the weeds off to the wayside or in the grass. Uh, up front, Hayden Jones is going to continue to to defend early and try to hang on to that lead with Parker along and Paulie Massimino kind of applying some pressure. Well, we heard Ty Fisher say it in the interview, right? He got shuffled back to outside your top five as DeLong goes through on Hayden Jones there early on in this one to take the lead of the race. But Fisher said, listen, I got shuffled back. I didn't panic. I actually said, you know what? Let's not overheat my stuff and, you know, overheat my own body uh, during the race as well to, you know, maintain a chance at a victory as Hayden Jones and Parker DeLong once again go after it. But like you said, with just the nature of K.A. Jr. and senior racing, you can get shuffled back and still have a chance today. We saw Vidimont Tien get pushed almost into, the, almost into the pit lane and was back in that lead group on the final lap, final 18 laps of this final. Aiden Jones is stuck having to defend, but Frankie Mossman finds room on the bottom of the racetrack. Cameron Weinberg's going to run Aiden Jones out of road. Yeah, lots of uh, pack, packed up Talladega style racing here. And uh, I don't know how long it's going to last. Hayden Jones and Paulie Massimino got hooked together just behind the frame, and Massimino's going to go off, trying to get that bumper unstuck from behind the left front tire. Big recovery there. Paulie's trying to just uh, reset that as he is still stuck trying to kick it out, and he will, but he's going to be put three wide, and hey, uh, Eli Warren, what a moment there. Eli Warren just started nearly dead last, and he is already up about probably 20 positions. Some of the major movers here. Warren is up nine already, as uh, now Cameron Weinberg will take a point at the lead. Uh, the summer stretch of the K senior national level racing. This has been a, a down uh, weekend for him so far. We're probably going to see a lot of the pack just kind of ride. Maybe moves here and there, like Kai Hunter making that pass for third. But we've uh, finally spread our drivers apart enough that you're going to start to see it spread further because the leaders are going to get some clear racetrack uh, a little bit less battling as we've got two more in the wall over there in turns five and six. Hunter making another move in turn eight. And oh no, wow, that is uh, not good. Hey, Peyton Phillips off and into the wall and that's gonna bring the red flag out. Oh my goodness, Peyton Phillips and one more collected, confirming now Finnegan Bailiff, the other driver involved in the incident. Peyton Phillips, you saw him with his helmet off. Uh, he was obviously awake and alert, but gonna go and quickly check out the Ryan Perry Motorsport Tony Car driver. And we are ready to get K100 Senior back underway down to turn number one. Great start for Frankie Mossman here as they quickly fan out of line. And Cameron Weinberg nearly caught him sleeping there in turn one. Yeah, Mossman opened up for the corner on, on, on a pretty low speed section of the racetrack with how late they throw the green here. So Mossman almost actually cost himself the top spot. Now he's gonna open the door here for four. Side by side further back, that's Caleb G going alongside uh, James Overbeck. Further back, one driver going way off the racetrack there. Couldn't get a, a name for the number, but you see already gloves are off, elbows are you know rubbing together here, and Frankie Mossman is not gonna defend. Now he does super late into turn eight. The rest of the field is gonna follow him through. Caleb Gaffera around the outside of Brickley. He might get run out of road, but Brickley very nice. And we've got more movers down the front straightaway. Here comes Kai Hunter to the inside of Parker along. He'll take over third. And that will connect the packs once again. But Frankie Mossman and Cameron Weinberg are trying to break away from the group. Uh, well, they were. Weinberg now to the lead in turn four. The entire field all the way back to Andrew Hamill in 16th. That is how long this lead group train is. Here goes Mossman. Mossman to the inside is through. So too is Kai Hunter. 
So our thoughts with Peyton Phillips here, but uh, I'm hoping that he's going to be the only one that has to go off-site for a further uh, uh, evaluation as there was a lot of close uh, moments right there for about four drivers, maybe five coming out of turns one and two. Door-to-door, wheel-to-wheel action, and it is the Brit who has gone to the front of the field. Kai Hunter now leads us through the infield here. Massimino to slip by as well as the bumpers get lodged. And look at Parker DeLong down the inside on Cameron Weinberg. That's going to give Kai Hunter some breathing room, the biggest lead we've seen all race. One thing to remember, folks, as well, it's a pretty big payday here if you can win the K main. Parker DeLong now to the inside. And Kai Hunter, Cameron Weinberg. Door to door, Caleb Gaffera going through as well. Here's Massimino now ready to challenge. Tenth or two faster, even five tenths faster. This is gonna help though. Kai Hunter to the inside. Massimino's gonna try to follow through, but I think Caleb G is gonna be on just enough of the right racetrack here to hold on to P4. Well, that's gonna help Hayden Jones and the rest of the crew. Kai Hunter now to the inside of Cameron Weinberg. He wants to be the first driver that gets to the rear bumper. Parker DeLong, Kai Hunter. This is as close as he's been all race long. He has a chance at the lead. He's going to take it. We know the Brit. When he wants the lead, he takes it. There he goes. Inside. Massimino inside as well. Dalton Haynes, a two for one to turn eight. He's the third. Dalton Haynes and Paulie Massimino on the inside. Caleb Gaffera on the high side. Gaffera is going to keep the momentum up. Uh, he and Pauli Massimino still are wheel to wheel into 11. Caleb will find a uh, hole down low, and that has given a pretty sizable gap. Kai Hunter and Parker DeLong now with four laps remaining get a little bit of breathing room. Three and a half laps remaining. Check it out. Hayden Jones is going to get another spot back to the inside with Isert. And around Isert goes out of eight. Steven Isert side by side trying to get along with Cameron. And it looks like it might have uh, popped it in the air and disconnected the battery. Paulie Massimino still nowhere to go behind the TB cart. Haynes going to fade low now into turn one. That'll give the gap back up to Parker DeLong and Kai Hunter. Now as they go up the hill to three, can Parker pull out a stunner here as Hunter looks low? He covers the bottom side. Haynes going to block back for third. DeLong high and low, nowhere to find a gap there. And now Paulie's got to deal with Caleb Gaffera back for position number four. There's no points on the line, no championship but a whole lot of cash. Kai Hunter looking to ride back with a, a big bag of U.S. dollars. As they, here comes Parker along around the outside. He'll get shoved into the runoff. Now Dalton Haynes moves up to second. Hunter on the bottom side trying to hold on. To Kai Hunter has one turn to go as they are crashing behind him. Massimino into third. Hunter looking low. Haynes nowhere to go. A big over under from Paulie, but Kai Hunter wins the main event in KA Senior. And you see what it means to the Brit fist in the air. He's pumping it. You know what it means for Kai Hunter. He wins ahead of Dalton Haynes just over Pauli Massimino and for Hunter, Haynes, Massimino, your top three. Hayden Jones, a great charge back up to fourth. Frankie Mossman, we saw him go further back. He finishes fifth. You see the congratulations from Massimino, from Dalton Haynes as well. Kai Hunter, what a run for the Brit.